A boxer holds the record for the dog with the longest tongue. Just what you'd expect from this fun-loving breed. Okay, a boxer is like a three-year-old child. That's it. They never grow up past three. And there's a saying, how many boxers does it take to change a light bulb? It doesn't matter because they're going to chase their toys in the dark. Boxers are aptly named. They get up on their hind legs and they'll punch you. <laughs> you know, that's, it's the truth. They do box you. When they grin and they're happy, you really know it. You will often see the boxer with no tail. So when he wags, he wags his whole rear end. And it's really kind of a fun thing to see. Buddy! Ooh. Powerfully built and exploding with energy, the boxer is a true athlete. So named for his distinctive ability to throw punches, he reigns as middleweight champ in the world of working dogs. The boxer's roots trace back to the now extinct German Bullenbeiser, a Mastiff-type dog that was originally used to seize large, fierce game like bear and wild boar. <laughs> then bred with the English Bulldog, the resulting boxer boasts one of the most distinctive skulls among dog breeds. With a short muzzle and big underbite, he was prized for holding his prey until his master arrived. The boxer as we know it was unveiled at the turn of the century, starring in some of the first motion pictures ever created. Today's boxer still loves to entertain. Who do you love? I love you too. Yeah. The last thing um, the breeder told us as we were leaving, she said, boxers are like potato chips. You can't have just one. Boxer puppies can be born with three different coat colors, fawn, brindle, or white. In fact, 18% of white boxers are deaf. <laughs> Whatever their color, boxers do require a lot of attention. Boxers are the sixth most registered breed with the AKC, cherished for their expressiveness and even their tongues. Meet John and his dog Brandy, a boxer with a 17-inch tongue, the longest of any dog. As a puppy, her tongue was already the size of an adult boxer's. And as she grew, so did her tongue. With some one-on-one -on -one attention, boxers can be trained to do just about anything. You need to train them for agility. You need to do obedience. You can't just stick them in the yard because they think they need to be doing something. Because boxers have short coats, they need protection from the cold. But on the bright side, they're very easy to groom. You, you do have to make sure that those wrinkles are cleaned out because they could get an infection. Boxers make loyal guards and funny friends. Boxers are great with families, although I must say it wouldn't be unlike them to topple over a toddler. Out of all the breeds, they have the highest incidence of cancer. Their shorter muzzles can present some health problems, like overheating on a hot day. Choose your boxer wisely, because each dog is different. On the whole, boxers do better in moderate climates. Not too cold, not too hot. They need regular trips to the vet. The boxer's short coat makes grooming a snap. While boxers are easy to train, they need lots of exercise and attention. With the right supervision, a boxer makes a great addition to most families. All in all, the boxer is a breed that'll knock you out, keep you on your toes, and constantly smiling.